So the last solid that we're going to talk about and before we get to composites is spheres. So a sphere is like a ball. And so the surface area would be like um, the leather around the ball and the volume would be the air that fills the ball. So the equation for the surface area or the area of a sphere is four times pi times r squared. And for a volume, it's four thirds pi r cubed. Um, but some of you might prefer four times pi times r cubed divided by three. That's the easiest way to handle that four thirds. Now you can let the calculator, you can type in four divided by three times pi and it will handle the, the four thirds just fine. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So the radius of the sphere is 12. So to find the area, it'd be four times pi times radius squared. Always write the equation, then do the math. So we get 500, if we just multiply the numbers, like don't worry about the pi, just do four times 12 squared, you get 576, and I didn't multiply pi yet, so it's 576 times pi, but I haven't done it, so I just write 576 pi. Remember, that's our exact answer. Now, if I multiply that out, though, then I get 576 times pi, and that gives me 1809.6 centimeters cubed, or cc's. Okay, or sorry, it's not centimeters cubed, it's centimeters squared, because we squared it, we didn't cube it. Okay, so volume, volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Be careful with that cubed. That is the one that gets everybody, even though we have the formula. So if you type this in, then you would do your 4 thirds and then your 12 cubed. So 4 times 12 cubed, and then divided by 3, you get 2304. So let's switch back to the pen, 2304 pi, because I didn't multiply the pi. But if I did, I'd multiply the pi out, then I get 7238.2 centimeters cubed, and this time that is cc's. cc stands for cubic centimeter. And that is the cc's like you hear like, um, for motorcycles and cars and stuff like that. When you're using, when you hear about cc's, that's cubic centimeters. Okay, so the area of a sphere is 100 pi. Okay, so the first thing, as soon as I see the area of a sphere, I'm gonna write the equation. Area equals four pi r squared for a sphere. So now I'm gonna plug in what I know. I know that the area is 100 pi. So I'm gonna put 100 pi, and then I'm gonna say equals four pi r squared. Well, I want to get r squared by itself, so I'm going to divide by 4 pi and divide by 4 pi. Now, don't worry about typing the pi's in on the calculator because all of that's going to cancel out. 100 divided by 4 is 25, so 25 is r squared. Remember, r squared means something times itself, so what times itself is 25? Or, if you want to think about it like this, take the square root, so the radius is five. The radius is five centimeters. If the radius is five centimeters, then I can go find the volume. Four thirds pi r cubed. So I would do four times five cubed divided by three. That comes out to be a yucky number. Um, and so what we want to do is just leave it alone. For, most of the time you're going to be asked to round, so it'll be fine. I just want you to see um, what it looks like. So we would get 500 over 3, so 500 pi over 3. Um, so we would multiply the 4 times the 5 cubed because when I divided by 3, it made it ugly, 166.666666. Um, so if I do 500 times pi and then divide by three to get my approximate answer, I get 523.6 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we have the diameter of a standard basketball is nine and a half inches. That's the diameter. If the basketballs are covered in rubber to the nearest 10th of an inch, what is the minimum amount of rubber needed to manufacture a set of four basketballs? So we're talking about area because we're covering it. So area is four pi r squared. So we start plugging in our numbers, four pi, we need the radius, but I gave you the diameter, right? Diameter is nine and a half. So that means the radius is half of that. 
So that's 4.75. So the radius is 4.75 squared. Now it says to the nearest tenth of an inch, which means we're going to go ahead and multiply everything out. So 4 times pi times 4.75 squared, we get 283.5. Now that's for one basketball. We need four basketballs. So I'm going to multiply that by four, and I get 1134.1 inches squared. So I need 1134.1, or if I had to round to the nearest whole number, I would actually round that all the way up because 1134 isn't enough. I would have to go to 1135. In the real world, that's what we'd have to do. So say that you can rent a um, helium tank that is standard 242 cubic foot helium tank from a gas supplier. You want to blow up a lot of balloons. If you assume your balloons are spherical and are one foot in diameter, that's important, so the diameter is one foot, how many balloons can you fill with one tank of helium? So we need to find the volume of the balloon. Okay, so the volume of the balloon would be 4 thirds pi r, right? So remember, r would be half a foot, so it would be 0.5 cubed. So we would do 4 times pi times 0.5 cubed, all divided by 3, and we get that the volume of one balloon is 0.524. Okay, now, if, I, if my helium tank has 242 cubic feet and each balloon takes 0.524 cubic feet, then I can take 242 and divide it into 0.524 increments. And I would get that I can fill 462 full balloons. Like, it's 462.2, but you don't have 0.2 of a balloon. So I can fill full 462 balloons, okay? So be careful with your R cubed. That's where you're going to get hit. But watch your formulas. Write down your formulas and then just plug in everything you know, and you 